Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, sorry for the lateness of this video. I actually spent a day with my kids and we went to the movies tonight and saw a movie. And uh, I'm just getting back now, so I thought I would do a quick video. And I wanted to talk about something kind of because I'm in the medical field, it's something that I see. And uh, I just kind of wanted to put this out there. You know, um, I think we all go through bouts of depression or feeling sorry for ourselves and stuff like that. And that's a normal, natural thing, okay? Um, but one of the things that, that amazes me is how miserable uh, some people are in their lives. And I'm going to give an example of something that just to, to kind of, this is what I tell people, okay? I, I tell people, I said, you know what? I said, if you can get up every day and get out of bed by yourself, go in the bathroom and use the toilet by yourself, go back in, get dressed by yourself, brush your teeth by yourself, go out, eat your breakfast by yourself, and then leave your house and get in your car and go wherever you wanted to go. You're having a great day. You're not having a good day. You're having a great day. So there's a lot of people that can't do those things. And it's a lot of things that we just take for granted. You know, we just take for granted these things. And so to me, it's like because of the position that I do when I work in the medical field and I see a lot of compromised people, you know, it gives me a, a better insight, I guess, if you will, and makes me realize how truly blessed and how truly lucky I am, you know, to be able to do the things that I want to do when I want to do them. I mean, guys, I take care of people younger than me, you know. I'm 51 years old, so, I mean, it's like when you have people younger than you that you're taking care of or, you know, just a couple of years older than me, I mean, it's just... Man, I tell you, it, it just gives you a different perspective on life. It really, truly does. And, you know, life is such a blessing. And uh, we're so lucky to be alive and to do the things that we want to do. And, uh, you know, it, that's what I look at a lot. I, I really, truly do. Um, I look at that and it makes me, like I said, it just makes me appreciate life so much more. Also, beating cancer gives you a whole different perspective of looking at life in a different aspect. It really makes you look at life in a different way. When they tell you you got cancer, it's a scary, scary thing. And there's a lot of you guys out there that are survivors, and uh, you know, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, it really it opens your eyes up and it makes you go, "Wow, man!" You know, this whole life that we got is a short, short period of time, and that's why a lot of the things that I say um, in my videos to you guys, like you know, if you're unhappy in your situation leave your situation, change your situation, because life is too short to be unhappy. And it really truly is, because, we, like I said, we're only here for a short time, and there's no guarantee that we're going to be here tomorrow. I mean, you know, you could walk out of your house and, you know, trip on your steps and smash your head and you're done. I mean, it's stupid, but it can happen, okay? There's a lot of ways that can, you can die accidentally, and it happens every day, you know. Um, but the thing is, it's like, it's such a precious, precious gift that we're given. And uh, a lot of people don't realize that. And, um, you know, I kind of, realistically for me, my eyes got opened um, probably, probably like a year before um, my ex-wife left. And, you know, I looked at things, I saw, all of a sudden I realized one day, you know what, I don't want to work these kind of freaking hours anymore. I don't want to do this grind anymore. And I wanted to have quality time and, you know, time with my children. And, and that, to me, was more important because they're only going to be young for so long. And that's the other thing a lot of people don't get up. I know a lot of you guys are my older viewers. You will tell me, you know, enjoy that time now because I won't be there forever. And, you know, I really look at that. And, um, you know, it's like my ex and I have been apart now for almost five years. And... And I'll tell you what, I, I tell people all the time, I am so blessed to be these kids' father. It, it's my honor. I, I'm just, it, it, it touches my heart. They just, you know, I'll tell you what, uh, and here's the thing is, I, I kind of always consider myself a tough guy. I didn't take no crap from nobody. I still don't take no crap from nobody, but I was always, you know, Mr. Macho guy and, and that type of thing. Man, I had these kids, and they turned me into a wuss. I'll tell you what, it's like, you know, they, it changes your heart. It really, truly does. I mean, I always love kids. Um, I helped my sister with her two oldest kids. And, uh, you know, I helped kind of raise them a little bit, especially my niece. And, um, you know, I love them to death. But, man, when you have your own, oh, my God, that changes everything. I mean, you hold that little baby in your hands, 
and you help make that child, and that's yours. You know, I, for me, for me, it, it, it changed me funda fundamentally with who I am. It really, truly did. And uh, like I said, it's been a wonderful journey, and I've been so happy and so proud to be my kid's dad. I really, truly am. I mean, and I don't just say that to say it. I, I truly mean it. I just, it, it has been fantastic. And, uh, but again, it's another thing, you know, you appreciate life. You know, it's like I'm trying to guide them into being good people and to give them a, a foundation of, um, you know, I don't want to say morals, but it, it, it's a foundation of morals. You know, you, you treat people like you want to be treated. You know, you use your manners, you know, you, you try to be pleasant to people until they prove they don't deserve to be treated that way. I mean, realistically. And, and basically, the, the rule of thumb I go by, I don't hate anybody. I honestly don't hate anybody. If there's somebody, and there's people I don't care for, don't get me wrong, but I just don't have nothing to do with them because I'm not going to waste it. It's a waste of energy to be negative and nasty and hateful. It truly, truly is. And to hate, the only person that you're hurting is yourself. Realistically, that's the only person that you're hurting is yourself. So I just kind of wanted to put this video out here. Um, you know, life is way too short, guys, man. I'll tell you what. It should be spent positively and, and with people that you love and, you know, and you care about and friends and family and doing and having a good time, you know, and just really enjoying life because before we know it, it's going to be done, you know, and then all you're going to have is memories. And, I, and I'll tell you what, I don't ever want to look back and have any regrets. I really don't. I want to say I lived. And, you know, I have. I, I, I've had a great time. I've been very blessed in my life. I've been blessed with great health, you know, up until last year. But, uh, you know, I mean, I got that taken care of. And, um, but, you know, I, it, it really is amazing. Life is. It really, and it's a gift. It really, truly is. And, you know, I know a lot of people are going to put the religious spin on it, and that's fine, you know, and, and I don't have a problem with that, you know, but it's just... I just look at it as an individual perspective of how I like to look at life. And, you know, treating people decently and being kind to each other. I mean, God, it doesn't take much. It really, truly doesn't. You know, and if we had more of that, this world would be such a better place, you know. Um, and, and that's just kind of where I'm at, guys. I just wanted to do a quick video on this subject. You know, be decent to each other. You know, and I say that a lot, too. But, you know, it really, it's, it's just so short. And, you know, to have hatred and animosity and hold grudges and I'm mad at this one because they did this 10 years ago. Man, let it go. Because one day, one of you are going to die. And the other one is going to have nothing but regret left of, you know, ah, I should have made amends. Well, it's too late then. You know what? Live in the present. Enjoy your time while you're here. And try to be, try to be a good person. That's all I can say. All right? Well, listen. Quick video. I'm sorry. Nothing really got accomplished today. Took a day and I'd spend it with my kids and I don't care. All right. I'll see you guys later. Prepper Nurse went out for now.